You know, sometimes when you live in a place like Phoenix, Arizona, you wake up and it's 100 degrees outside. So you drive two, th three hours? Three hours, about three. Three hours north just so you can go to one game store and maybe one or two thrift stores and sometimes you do that with friends elisa yeah. sup dan <laughs> sup you guys enjoy the game store i gotta go back to the car to get my face mask because i'm an idiot all right mask acquired we're gonna start at the bookman's here in flagstaff if you're familiar with their channel you know that we shop these bookman's in our hometown of phoenix all the time this is a bookman's you probably haven't seen on this channel unless you've been watching us since way back but before we even get started guys subscribe to this channel and subscribe to dan and elisa they have their own channel now finally after making like 10 20 videos with us you will be able to after this video go watch their video and see what they pick up game wise and at the thrift stores that we're going to hit after this so subscribe subscribe stick around first thing i see is wayne's world in box that's awesome I found all I need, Wayne's World, in box. Classic Games Overload. That's actually what I'm looking for. 15 bucks, that's not bad. I know. You see any Vita games? None. Didn't you tell me you guys are like just a couple away from complete? Three. Three. That's awesome, but also annoying. Oh, very yeah. annoying. A annoying place to be. Yes. One, one of them's an empty box. Oh, yeah. And it's like worth $120 for an empty box. <laughs> digital code inside, right? Yep. Yeah. Expired um, digital code. You can't even get it anymore. <laughs> triply annoying. Yeah. Really bad. How about this double Scooby Doo down here? I don't even see a price tag. It's the only inbox Game Boy game I see. Scooby Doo, two and one. Oh, I'm gonna get a Scooby Doo game. You see anything you want? Not yet. It actually looks like they had a somewhat larger GameCube collection. I better check that. Ooh, on the shelf, baby. Let's go. You don't see that every day in Phoenix. Seventy bucks. You you might want to check the GameCube stuff. The the nicer stuff's over here on the shelf. Yeah, seventy bucks. I mean, it's not that surprising. It's here, but the fact it's just out on the shelf. That's incredible. I mean, they've got them locked up. I just, I was surprised. I walked around the corner and saw that on the shelf. I was like, what? What? Yeah. They just, I guess they reduced the footprint of their lock boxes. Yeah. Here. That's Wii incredible. Sports? Someone just drew it. That's incredible. It's a better cover than Wii Sports usually is. That almost makes me want to buy it. <laughs> it's just, can I just have the case? I want to take it up to the, the front and say, I want, I, want to, I want to know who drew this. I want to hire them. <laughs> can I be your friend? So good. Oh, there's another one. All right. Oh. That's great. <laughs> they both kind of look like Link, which makes me happy. I mean, it's supposed to be Link, yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I, good. I guess it's mission accomplished. Stuff here. Ooh. Ooh, holographic title. I want that so bad. 30 bucks. It's so pretty. It's such a clean copy, too. I love the hollow title cover stuff. Shiny. And I don't have that one. I do have that one okay. more dragon ball z 10 bucks i found the dishes and toys section checking out what they got over here i think we just found this at the thrift the other day not in box obviously but uh 2050 on it it's pretty this thing won't stop falling okay okay put it back put it back Day. Bonja Simpsons toys. Do you have some Barbies? It's a Xena doll. Little Callisto in box. Check out her smile. Oh my god. She's a little creepy. <laughs> Put her back. Not seeing anything I need in the dish section, but it's always fun to look.
Do you have that? Is it good? Little mushrooms. Cute. I kind of really want this. It doesn't have a normal price tag on it, but it's got that. That's a good price. Wait, there it is again. That was 15. All right, well, let's take that one. What'd you find? Um, this thing on the bottom, I'm trying to figure out that's underneath the stack. Yeah. If that's the Kid Icarus stand. Oh, very specific. Is this the Kid Icarus stand? Hello? Oh, it is. Are you <laughs> dun dun dun. I, I, I'm, try, I'm trying to look like this. I think it is. I think it is. Like, yes. It's really hard to bye, see. Bye, bye, bye. Look at that. 21 bucks. Does it, does it come like in box with a game or something? Yeah, you can't get it anywhere else. I have everything except the stand. Literally. Yeah. I hope that's what it is. I think it is. Right. It is. That's five of the day. Good five. High five. Oh man, that was ready. <laughs> I saw three for that. That's okay. I'm like, not gonna have this. I got, I got long arms. Yeah, well, I just, I have a lot of the Zelda manuals. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cheap, 12 bucks. Yeah. Dude, they're written so well. We've been playing Minish Cap and it's like perfect. Yeah. It's just everything. It's organized in a way that makes sense. And some of those older games, you're not gonna know how to get like half the hearts yeah. unless you have something like, oh, by the way, you gotta talk to this bush that you would never think right. of. Right, well, the first time, and honestly, one of the very few times I've needed a manual, yeah. it was like Zelda Game Boy games. Yep. Had to have exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. When was the last time you saw a Chrono Trigger in a game store? It's 220, it's super ripped up label. Haven't seen it in a while. I really want this Wayne's World though. <laughs> This is like the anime manga section, and uh, as you might remember, someone sent me a Beyblade manga on, was it yesterday's mail time? So I was like, well, maybe I should check for more. At least, at least it has looked, and uh, Deuce. it's a no. Yeah. I saw Steven and I got excited. Seven of seven. What do you want, like, Steven Universe box set? Yeah. As Hannah pointed out, small toy section. Furby. Eight bucks, three of them. It's not bad, but I don't know if I have them or not. I've said it about a dozen times. I need to do a much better job of keeping track of them. Print out a checklist and stuff, or put a checklist on my phone, but these are awesome. You're not in dogs with us? Yeah, right? Always. That's a nice, nice title. Looks like they put a lot of work into that. Mary Kate Nashley, pocket planner. Nothing. Hey, Hannah. Hey, what? What you got there? It matches my t-shirt. You gonna get it? I mean, it's 50 cents. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Done. Did you guys get some good stuff? Oh man, we got some great stuff. All right, well, unfortunately, we're not gonna show you exactly what they got. You gotta go watch their video, so. Double duties today, double watching duties. I will show you real quick, however, what I got. I went ahead and got that manual, and this is not factory sealed, this is a sealed job they do themselves. So it's a bit crunchy, so we're gonna go home and open that. Flatten it out a bit and put it in a protector. But in the meantime, we have hamburger cheeseburger backpack to protect it. Thank goodness for the hamburger backpack. Thank, thank Steven Universe. <laughs> thank the diamonds, that's what I should have said. Thank the diamonds. Listen, Dan has made me a promise that if there are Vita games in this GameStop, he's getting naked. So, more game hunting at the GameStop. Uh, be interested to see if they have any Pokemon stock, but I'm not holding my breath. Is that a popcorn bumper? Yeah. I thought you were calling me over here because of Minecraft. No, just Dragon Ball Z stupid stuff. Don't speak to me again unless you find the Minecraft. Oh my goodness. Oh crap, oh, I was drawn over here because of the turtles. Those are huge and awesome, but that's pretty cool. 60 bucks a piece. I was gonna tell you about them, but they're not Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak there, I spotted it. It's a piggy bank. Give it to me. Why is it a plushy piggy bank? Because it's awesome. Could I have it? <laughs> it would survive. You can't break this and get your money out though. Oh, like what are you supposed to do? There's a little more. Gosh, there's just nothing. She's actually the only one from. It's hard to explain. She's the only. She's one of the few I don't have from this set. 
Uh, but there are others because there's some you can only get in the little box and then some of the big boxes. Mm. She's the last one from the little boxes I don't have. But the little box ones also come in some of the other big boxes, so it's complicated. It, it just sounds very complicated. Is that Vita Games? It is. What is it? Little Big Planet, Call of Duty, and... Duty. <laughs> uh, Walking Dead, season two. Nothing you need? No. All right, you get to keep your clothes on. <laughs> Did you literally just buy all those Vita Games? You yeah. weren't joking. Nope. He said, no matter what Vita Games I have when I go in here, I'm going to buy them. Even though you own them all in box, right? Yep. All three. Guess what? They're 30% off because we bought them all. They were 30% off, really? Yeah. That's awesome. You may not be able to hear me on account of the wind because it's super windy here today, but we're going to the mall, which we don't do a lot on this channel, but uh, we hear there's a GameStop in there. And uh, these guys want more Vita games. They're Vita hungry. Mall GameStops are the best. Hopefully there's Minecraft stuff. That's all I care about. Yeah. You just bought this at the last GameStop, didn't you? Yes. You gonna get that one to match? Maybe. It's a banana corn. You gotta. <laughs> I always wondered how much this was new because I found this at a Goodwill once. Oh yeah. Twenty-five bucks. They're not cheap, are they? Yeah. The costume ones are yeah. real expensive. That's kind of why I've kept them. Like I would never have them otherwise. Like I'm not paying twenty-five for that. You can actually come out of the costume. It's great. He's so angry. That's a mad Pikachu right there. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody kicked his ash. Did you just buy a big stack of Switch games? Heck yeah. Let's get a quick peek, just a, like a swoop. Well, that was way too quick. Let me go there. <laughs> All right, I think I've got to get one of these. I don't like grab bags, mystery boxes. Uh, there are seven of them total. It says the odds for the super rare one, or for the rare is one out of 12, and for the super rare is one out of 48. And uh, with those kinds of odds, I'll be eBay some of these, but I really only want the creeper. The snowman would be cool, but the creeper is what I really want. And he, this one's heavier than the rest, so I mean, you can just tell there's a good few ounces, which means maybe there's a good chance it's the super rare one. The super rare one is like some sort of egg or some gold egg or something. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and grab the super heavy one and see what happens. Maybe I should just grab one of each. A lot of them are the <laughs> Wouldn't they look cool in my backlit shelf? And because they're gold, yeah, they'll be reflective. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to get two. Treat yourself. I got some uh, Minecraft gold. Hopefully, there's gold inside. I got bamboozled like three times sitting there looking at them. I think all of them have an egg. Yeah. You break the egg and there's stuff. And hopefully, not break the inside. Yeah, I guess. So, I don't know. That, be, that means the figures are going to be tiny. I was hoping it was going to be a gold. If it were just a gold creeper that big, I'd be like, yes. Done. But. I'll, we'll unbox them later. Catch! You could just smash on the ground and break the egg. That might be what you gotta do. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. Um, we can now check Flagstaff off our list of places we've traveled to together. We're running out of places. Where are we gonna go next? We uh, need to go to Vegas for a weekend or something. Sky's the limit. Yeah. Because we always have fun uh, video game hunting with these guys. And I'm gonna show you real quick what I got. Uh, if you want to see what they got, you got to go check their channel out, which we're going to talk about here in a second. But I bought these Minecraft things. We did a little bit more research on them after I bought them. They're actually like a soap, like a soap bar egg inside. Look at this. I'm not going to open them here now. I'm probably going to open them on our Minecraft channel. But look, doesn't that look like a bar of soap? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You, but the, the, the point of them is, like, you take the pickaxe and you've got to axe it open. It? Yes. I'm taking a hammer to that thing. That's I'm perfect. not messing with this. Fill that. <laughs> this is, you're going to be at it forever. Yeah. It's, it's never going to go anywhere. And this is heavy and dense. Check yeah. this out, though. That's what they want you to do. They legit want kids to, like, work for it. The box is even, like, uh, I don't know. It says something about they want you to work at it, and not all things are easy. It's supposed to be a lesson or something. I don't know. But there could be gold figures inside of here. And the other thing is, is that this one is like noticeably heavier than the other. So I'm hoping I might have got one of the gold ones. How about giant scissor smash? Well, I, you know, <laughs> you want to just hold it and I'll, no. uh, I'll scissor, I didn't think so. <laughs> Hannah? Hannah, are you in? <laughs> I'll play <laughs> But I got two of those. Check out our Minecraft content and I'll probably open one of those on there. Uh, I also got the Scooby-Doo game. I only bought it because it was one of these double packs. And I thought that'd be cool to have in box. This is not a factory seal. Uh, Bookman seals their own stuff. And I love Zelda, and I have... I don't think I have a copy of Phantom Hourglass, which is, means it's really silly I didn't buy 
that other manual is there because I do have that game. But this was just beautiful, and this is what really got me to buy it. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Oh, oh baby. I almost bought the other copy of this that was there just so I could have one complete and yeah. take the poster out of the other one because that's a good poster. That's a really good one. But that's all I got. Uh, I didn't buy near as much as these guys did. You guys got a couple of things that, like, you got a couple of games, mm -hmm. but you also got a couple of random things to complete other inbox stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, we're so excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm excited to see your video when you talk about the stuff you got, because, like, completing stuff the way that you guys did today, like, really tickles my fancy. Uh, but... As I said, if you want to see what they got, check out their channel. We're not going to talk about the stuff they bought today. I want to talk a little bit about your channel because you guys have been on video in our videos, what, 10, 20 times now? I've lost track. Good about oh, yeah. it, yeah. A bunch. I mean, we went to, you, uh, we've went to, where did we go? Tucson, like three or four times together yep. now and did exactly what we did today. We've shopped around town here mm -hmm. and every single video, the top comment is, do they have a channel? What's the link to their channel? Um, and finally, how long ago now you started a channel? Uh, it's been about six, seven weeks. Six, seven yeah. weeks, and yep. you've made how many videos? Six, six. videos. Six videos. One That's awesome. Yep. Well, so what that means now is if a bunch of you will go check out their channel, there is a good bit of content for you to go back and watch. Because I know how people that watch this channel love to go back and watch our old content. So uh, it's perfect. But let's talk a little bit about what uh, what's your channel about. What's it called? What what are you doing? Sure. So uh, it's called JRPG Life. That's kind of our our thing. We're into JRPGs. If you haven't figured it out yet, uh, the, the, I would say there's like three main things we focus on. Right. One of them is pickups because we love buying stuff and opening games. Right? Yeah. We're collectors. Uh, the other two. Uh, one of them we're actually starting a series soon called Journey to Persona. Yeah. Journey to Persona. We're basically gonna work. We're gonna. We're going to take you all along with us, and we're going to work towards one of the games we're missing out of our Persona collection, which is Persona Revelations, the original one. Okay. It's like a four or $500 game, but we want to take you on the journey with us through yard sailing, um, local game hunting, and get it for free through okay. the attrition so of you're buying gonna, and selling. You're going, to buy, you're going to make a series just trying to buy w one big, bad, expensive game Yep. yep. And then once we get reselling. that one, we'll go to the next one. That's cool. And that's so really, that's an interesting twist. A lot, you know, a lot of people have series just building a bigger collection by trading up and reselling, but like making it about those games that we don't want to spend a thousand dollars on. Right. I like that. Uh, so I look forward to watching that one. Uh, what other kind of stuff uh, is that the main thing? Just video game pickups and mm -hmm. then very specific video games. Uh, video game buying videos yeah. and then of course you guys claim to fame is that like what percentage of your collection is JRPGs 70% that's a lot yeah. they've got about mm -hmm. as many video games as I do like you've seen us shoot videos in their house before and it literally looks just as big as my collection it's just white shelves instead of yellow uh, and it's like almost all JRPGs. You can pull just about anything off the shelf. And that's what it is, which is interesting. It's fun. I mean, I've, yeah. I've made a lot of friend, friends that are collectors making these videos, but I, I don't, I haven't come across too many people with that, you right. know? That's, so, a, that's yeah. a specific passion. Yeah, and the last part of our video we, we're going to be doing is um, we're going to do a lot about being a couple, a married couple that games. Yeah. Um, gamer couple. Gamer couple stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's going to vary. As time progresses, we're going to try some things out, but we really want to talk about that because that's that's what we love about yeah. life, you know, it's you, gaming together. You guys do do this together. Yeah. 100%. Which is interesting. It's a different perspective. Hannah and I play games together. Uh, she doesn't participate in the collecting quite as much as I do, like you guys do. You guys go out, and you, I mean, you can see in the video we just shot, every time you guys are huddled around the lockboxes. Oh, yeah. We see something, and we, we both see the exact same thing. We don't have to say anything. Yeah. yeah. We know exactly what it oh, is. I've seen, I've seen the hand signals. He, he, he sees the stuff up high, and I if see, see the stuff down low. low. Right. <laughs> I, that's no lie. I literally walked, when you guys found the, they bought a Game Boy stand that's, or, or I'm sorry. Uh, 3DS. A 3DS stand. Same, same. And, uh, uh, she was, you were literally like on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it? Oh, I can see it from above. Yeah. I, I don't mind, you know, That's like if, if there's something that I'm looking for, like I don't, I don't mind just like contorting you know, my body to look. I can appreciate that. Sometimes when I find, you know, games on the bottom shelf at a Goodwill, I got to get down there and get on the floor. People are a little less interested when I'm on the floor. They don't, they don't like <laughs> stepping around my big self. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us as always. We'll definitely do more of this in the future. I feel like we're like our, our batting average is like a video a month we tend to do together. Yeah. yeah. Um, but 
now there's way more videos over on their channel. So go check that out, guys. Uh, link in the video's description. There'll be a link in the comments. There's probably even going to be a link in the title of this video, link at the end of the video. Check them out pretty please. Hit the subscribe button. Help us get them to like five, 600 subs at least. I mean, listen, there's like 6,000 of you that's probably going to watch today. If you could help them hit 1,000, I'd really appreciate it. But, yeah. you know, we're trying to manage expectations. Baby steps. I know not everyone here is for the video games, but these guys are going to make some cool video game and flipping videos. I had fun. Same. Let's yeah. do it again. It's always a blast, yeah. yeah. All right, well, do me a favor before you get out of here. Subscribe to this channel. Help me get to 15,000 subs. There's a video in front of Dan's face that you can click on to check out our latest Minecraft video. The video below that is us playing some Super Smash. And then right here in front of me, there is a little bubble you can click on that'll help you get subscribed if you're not already. So click that. Until next time, guys, peace out.